woodworking. It's one of the top hobbies of the American male. And for some, carpentry can even be a new and exciting profession. Now let's make the first cart. But that was your dad's idea of carpentry. Now look what just crawled out of the woodwork. The Outlaw Carpenter. When the Beverly Hills elite need their one-of-a-kind woodwork, they don't go to Pottery Barn. They call Mike and Tom the Outlaw Carpenters. Mike runs the shop. My role in the shop is uh, big cheese, <laughs> the enforcer, the salesman. And somebody else did that kitchen before we came in and it's all f***ed up. That's negligence there. What are you guys doing? That's an absolute lack of effort right there. Why can't some just go nice and smooth or, you know, why can't that one thing would have been nice? While Tom fearlessly oversees all the fabrication. My role in the shop is watching the crew production making sure it's buildable. The way I work is I go home and sleep on it. I come up with ideas of how that's gonna work. It may not always be exactly what they had in mind, but to make it functional, you gotta make little adjustments. In each hour-long episode, the Outlaw Carpenters will fearlessly take on one hardcore building project that no one else can do for a high-stakes client. Most of our clients that we work for. Beverly Hills, along the beach, Brad Pitts, Tom Cruise. A lot of them are movie stars. Rod Stewart's house, Steven Spielberg. A lot of them are just rich. A lot of times I don't even know who they are. All I know is they're crazy rich and other people know who they are, but we just show up, build the cabinets and get out of there. I think that's why they like us. I don't care, don't ask, don't want an autograph and they'll go to any lengths to create something you'll never see anywhere else. If somebody wanted something way out of this world, as long as they've got enough money, we could, we could make anything. There's, I, I can give you a long list of things that are just unreasonably silly. The most outrageous piece of furniture was all the furniture for Will Smith's house. All the cabinets that we built were old wood carvings, and the old wood carvings came from Afghanistan. Special wood hand carved two, three hundred years ago. I have to say, man, those guys in Af Afghan, or, or in Afghan? Afghanistanians, those guys can carve. I don't know what they're on, man, but they're some carving fools over there. The outlaw carpenters will also rely on their right-hand men, Jerry and Aussie Mike, to help them deliver the goods. Uh, my name's Jerry Brady. Uh, I am, I guess you call me the foreman, although it hasn't been officially noted. Were you driving the f***ing forklift? Where the f*** did you learn how to drive? Jerry's our resident uh, genius. I think it's a great idea to be welding inside here with all this flammable wood and dust. I really love this kind of shit. My name's Mike Davis. They call me Ozzy Mike. Currently, I do the detailing and the drafting here. I mean, this is probably one of the longest jobs that I've stayed in. What the f***? Hey, Mike! What the f is this horse doing here? The horse is depressed. She was going the horse crazy. is depressed? Uh-oh. Oh, my God. And step, oh, stepped in it, too. I knew that thing would spring a leak. Pick that up, put it in Tommy's office. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see them take a project from design. When you turn the TV on, what'll happen is this will flip around. To installation and all the pitfalls in between. Dumbest thing. Well, a lot of blood involved in that. And I was moving it through the saw, and it caught, and it spun that board like a propeller. and took my finger right down into the blade. Oh. And anyway, I'm half inch short on that finger now. From outrageous requests. How's it going? I have a table I designed. It's a, it's a round table with the masks. Oh, wait, I have a mock-up. What'll happen is the water will spurt from this side to that side. Little water. Isn't that cute? That's cute. Uh, yeah. Is this guy wearing a parachute? <laughs> Why? Get the fuck out. To costly mistakes. Where was it? Laying on the ground? It's only $1,000 a sheet, that's all. F***ed it up! Who the f*** was driving the forklift today? Somebody drove the f***ing 
and forklift over a thousand dollars worth of walnut burl. Nobody knows who did it. Bullshit. 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 We'll watch as these outlaws try to hit the nail on their looming deadline. Second floor, living closet 201. I mean, these guys have been under contract. I know what's been right. happening. But we keep bouncing time, back to the first it, one. No, it hasn't been smooth sailing. Like no, I know. Sounds like he's making up numbers. I couldn't understand him half the time. That whole job at Rosewood is like a Rosewood from hell. Every episode will be an unpredictable ride through their lives. Where the hell you guys been? Got a rattlesnake. Got a rattlesnake. Holy sh**. You guys ever gonna build any cabinets? Let's <laughs> get the <laughs> in work, man. Let's go. Let's go. From coping with personal tragedies. Tommy got the big bomb dropped on his life. About mid July, I took a vacation. My wife and I went to Colorado. While he was out on vacation with his wife, somebody pulled a truck out in front of their bike. We crashed. Uh, I, I don't recall any of the accident, so I couldn't give you many first-hand details, but I lost my wife. It was like a lightning hitting all of us all at the same time. I miss my wife. It's been a, a tough thing for all of us to go through. To seeking solace in their music and life on the open road. 15 to 20 years ago, he would come up to my house and uh, we'd have play darts in my garage. He'd bring his acoustic and I'd get out my acoustic and we'd start playing. We also write songs too, just about our life and times and experiences and things we've done and women we've loved, places we've been. This is the studio where the Smiling Fish Band and Black Daniels Band practice. This is one of the ones I made. This is the first guitar I ever made right here. fabricate and deliver the ultimate creations. Is that beautiful or what? I love it. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Proving that there's no one more skilled to handle your wood than. Every time I break a chair over a guy's head, I think of these guys. The Outlaw Carpenters.